going to do the student checkup word 1-4. So on this one, we need to uh, start with the file that we just uh, finished working with in the last assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead this time, I'm going to go ahead and begin by saving it as uh, for the new assignment with the new assignment name on it. Okay, so now that it has the new assignment name, I can go ahead and begin changing my document. So I'm going to start by clicking on the design tab. Go ahead and go in on the design tab. I'm going to go to themes. I'm going to select metropolitan. I'm going to use the document formatting group right here, right? This is document formatting here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on more there, right? So I can see everything. In the document formatting group, I'm going to find the document formatting group that is black and white classic. So I can go ahead and go across each one of these. Uh, it will tell me the name as I hover over it, uh, what it, tell me the name of the formatting group. And so there it is right there. There's white and black, black classic. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. One thing I want to do here with my title is I want to make sure my title is, is, um, to the left, right? Formatted so it ends up on the left. As I select it, I see here that it is actually justified. And so I'm going to go ahead and click align left, and then that'll bring it back in order so I can have it aligned correctly. Everything else looks good. Back on the design tab. So I, I changed the alignment on the home tab, right? So I'm going to go back to the design tab now. And I'm going to go to the fonts. And it says to select Kandara. I'm going to go ahead and select on this one. I'm, now I'm going to change tabs. I'm going to go over to the insert tab. And I'm going to click header on the insert tab. On the header, I'm going to select slice 2 as the format for my header. I'm going to go ahead and select the button here on the for, on the formatting design tab here. I'm going to select a go to footer right there, go to footer. Now on right here, I'm going to select on the contextual tab, right? I'm going to go ahead and select the insert, right? It's in the insert group here, date and time. And the format I'm going to select is the third one down right here. Click go. I'm going to make sure it's update automatically. I'm going to make sure this box is, box is checked. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and click close header and footer. Now this is, this is something here that I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the review tab. I'm going to select spelling and grammar. So in the book it actually has only three things that it wants me to uh, review. So uh, the, everything that it pulls up, if it's not on the list here, go ahead and click ignore once. Ignore once is right here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and ignore this one, for example. Brownlee Dam is also going to be ignored once. Here's one that's on the selection for the book. It is a number of, so I'm going to change that to several. Go ahead and ignore once on this one. And then I'm done. So uh, the, mine's, mine didn't have the different types as one of the options. Yours, yours may, so different versions of Word uh, may have different uh, experiences as you go into the grammar. So, okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and I can click save up here or I can hit control S and save my document. I don't have to rename it. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into Canvas, find that assignment submission link, find, go and look for this assignment. It should be on um, in that folder uh, set that we made the first week of class. Find it and upload it to Canvas, and you're good to go. Talk to you later.